Hey, what's up, boxing fans? Miguel Maravilla here with you. Another fight, another preview. This preview, the showdown between Emmanuel Navarrete and Oscar Valdez. Styles make fights, and this is the case. You have two very exciting styles, very explosive styles. Both of these guys like to bang. They, they like to come forward. Although um, Valdez is the more technical. He has probably, um, you know, the more technique in there. The guy likes to go all out. The guy likes to trade. He likes to go out there and fight, as uh, you saw in his fights against Quig and Berchel. As far as uh, Navarrete goes, again, he, he likes to go forward and he likes to slug it out. This is definitely a uh, fight of the year candidate. This is um, this fight has a lot of potential. It has potential to be the fight of the year because, again, these two styles are just going to mesh. They're, it's It's going to be fun to watch these are fan friendly styles uh, this also has the potential to be the next uh, Mexican rivalry as we saw with uh, Barrera Morales uh, most recently too with uh, Israel Vasquez and uh, Rafael Marquez so we really haven't had a big Mexican rivalry in quite some time so honestly I, I think this matchup has the makings for it but um, you're, you're gonna see a uh, Again, a, a very exciting fight. There's going to be a lot of action. You don't want to miss this one. Taking place Saturday, August 12th from the Desert Diamond Arena in Glendale, Arizona. It's Emmanuel Navarrete defending his WBO junior lightweight title against former world champion Oscar Valdez. This, an all-Mexican showdown with the potential to be the next Mexican rivalry, as mentioned. Shades of Barrera Morales, perhaps. Valdez, former world champion, a two-division world champion. He's on the path of redemption as he hasn't had the uh, best of luck. As uh, a few years ago, he was uh, positive for performance-enhancing drugs coming into a uh, fight against Conceicao. Following that victory over Conceicao, he uh, suffered his first defeat at the hands of Shakur Stevenson. That fight taking place last year in April. A uh, fight in which uh, Shakur outpointed him. Um, Valdez returned to the ring. He was back this past May as he uh, fought a rematch with Adam Lopez. Quite frankly, Lopez's style was not suitable for Valdez as in both fights he went the distance with him and gave him all he can handle and uh, a very tough outing for Valdez as uh, again he wants to get back to becoming a world champion now standing in his way is his countryman Emmanuel El Vaquero Navarrete Navarrete three division world champ he uh, won the super bantamweight WBO title um defeating Isaac Dogbe and then proved that it wasn't a fluke in the rematch as he uh, stopped him. Um, following that, he uh, also uh, defended the title a few times, then moved up to 126 where he uh, won the 126 featherweight title, the WBO title, in a uh, decision against Ruben Villa. Again, had some... Uh, defenses and um, he also had a battle with uh, Joette Gonzalez and in his last fight Navarrete had his hands full against Australia's Liam Wilson Wilson actually sent him to the canvas in that fight a very difficult tough fight for Navarrete However, Navarrete was able to pull it off with the victory and stopping uh, Wilson, setting the stage, winning the 130-pound WBO title, and now setting the stage for his showdown with Oscar Valdez. Although coming into this fight, both of these guys haven't looked the best coming into their last fight. Uh, they both struggled. However... You know, not every fighter is going to have a uh, dominating performance. And I think that's the case for both of these fighters. But again, 
these two styles are meant for each other. You're going to see a back and forth battle. You're going to see some toe to toe action. However, in this fight, I think it's going to come down to who wants it most. However, the key here, it's going to be uh, who is able to make those uh, those changes, who's able to adapt, who's going to be able to basically uh, you know, fight differently in there. And in this case, I feel it's going to be Valdez. Valdez has more ability to fight backwards, move around side to side, not necessarily trade all the time, but... He is going to have to mix it up in there because Navarrete, again, guy's very underrated with his boxing skill. The guy the guy knows how to box, but he's naturally a banger. And, um, you know, he's usually the bigger opponent. He, um, he In this fight, he's fighting a Valdez who's perfectly uh, the same size as him. But, again, Valdez has a lot of technique and he can also bang. But um, this is going to be a close one. But I really like Oscar Valdez to pull away in this one with a decision. But again, Navarrete is gonna, he's gonna go all out in this fight. He's gonna be head hunting. He's gonna be going to the body, attacking Valdez from different angles. So it's gonna be a fight in which Valdez is gonna have to adapt. And you know, they're, both of these guys are gonna want it most. There's no denying that. They're both gonna have a strong will. But again, it's gonna come down to who's able to adjust, who's able to make the changes in that ring. And in this case, it's going to be Oscar Valdez because, as I mentioned, he's the more technical of the two. And I, again, I feel he's going to pull away with a uh, decision win, a very close decision win. But this is going to be a very exciting fight.